بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والصلاة بالمحمد ومن تبع فمن أحسن يوم الدين الحمد لله In this video, inshallah, we're going to talk about Fulu Ta'ajab Fulu Ta'ajab is a way in the Arabic language to show amazement It's a way in the Arabic language to show amazement So in English language, we'll say, for example, how amazing, uh, how beautiful is she? How knowledgeable is he or how knowledgeable is she? Um, how beautiful is the garden, so on and so forth. So how do you say this in Arabic language? You use Fulu Ta'ajab pretty much, which is a way to show amazement concerning an attribute something possesses. So specifically to show amazement to an attribute that something, and someone possesses, something or someone possesses. And there are two possible patterns to, to do this in the Arabic language. Al-fa'albi and ma afa'anahu. Or ma afa'ana and then isn't that So we're going to start with the first pattern, which is al-fa'albi. So, if I have an attribute in Arabic language like Tawil, which means tall, Hasan, which means good, um, the list goes on, and I want to sh show this yani, amazement, I'm going to put that attribute on the pattern of Afail. So, for example, the word Tawil, I'm going to put on the pattern of Atwil. The verb or the word Hasan, I'm going to put on the pattern of uh, Ahsan. The verb uh, or the sorry, the pattern or the, the name or the attribute um, Jamirun, I'm going to put on the pattern of Ajmil. And then I'm going to actually put the thing or the person that has that thing in an amazing way after the harujar bi. After the harujar bi. So al-fa'in is going to be an attribute. The word that comes after the harujar bi or the pronoun is going to be the thing that has the attribute in an amazing way. In an amazing way. So let's see an example of this or examples. Allah says in the Quran, Abu bihi wa asma'a. Also in Surah Al-Maryam, Allah says, Fa ta'ala, asma'a bihim wa abasir. So Allah says, Abul Sir bihi wa asfaq, how beautiful he hears and he sees, referring to himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Abul Sir, again, it comes to the word basar, which means sight, basirun, the person who sees. So if I want to show that this person has an amazing sight or this thing has an amazing sight, I'm going to put the word basar on the pattern of Abul Sir Afil. Afil Abul Sir. Then the thing or the person that has that sight in an amazing way, I'm going to put it after the harwajar bi. Here it's who, which means he. Abul Surabihi, how perfectly he sees. The translation sort of reverses the, the order. bihi, the bihi is dropped because already understood how perfectly he hears. Ajmil billah, how beautiful is Allah. A'anim bihi, how knowledgeable is she? Is he? Ahsan bihim, how good are they? A'anim biha, how knowledgeable is she? So this is how you would do it. This is how you would do this pattern or uh, to show amazement. Now the second pattern that is more readily used from what I know is ma afa'ana. Ma afa'ana, afa'ana is going to be the attribute just like here, just different pattern. So I'll say for example, ma ahsana, ma a'anama, ma ajmana, how beautiful, how tall, how knowledgeable this goes on. And then the thing that comes after afa'ana is either going to be a pronoun that's attached to it or an ism that's mansub, which is going to be the thing that has the attribute again in an amazing way. Let's see examples of this. Allah says in the Quran, فَمَا أَصْبَرَهُمْ عَنَ النَّارِ Talking about people that hide uh, the revelation and so on and so forth. Allah says how patient they are in the pursuit of the fire. So أَصْبَرَ uh, It originally comes from the verb, or from the word, sorry, sabr, or sabr or sabr, which means any patient, the patient one, and so on and so forth. So I want to show, I want to show this person has patience in an amazing way. I, I put on the pattern of أَفْعَرَ أَصْبَرَ فَمَا أَصْبَرَ so how patient whom they are not any in the pursuit of the how far. That's how the, tra the translation um, sort of explains this verse. It's sort of a way that Allah is making fun of them. Allah So we can also see examples here. Ma ajmal Allah, how beautiful is Allah. Again, the attribute is ajmal. And then the word that follows is going to be the person that, or the thing that has an amazing way. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how beautiful is Allah. Ma ahsana Muhammadin, how good is Muhammad. Ma a'lamahum, how knowledgeable are they? Again, whom is the thing that has the attribute in an amazing way? A'lam is the actual attribute itself. Ma a'lamaha, how knowledgeable is she? So this is how you would uh, use the pattern of ma afa'ana. Both of them come in the Quran, as you can see. Uh, they're also really used by uh, Arabs in spoken and, 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 uh, and written language. So inshallah, it's the benefit in this video. Jazakallah khairan for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.